Yo, it's your boy Logos. We're going to finish shot where we left off last time. Had some technical difficulties, but we only have a few minutes left. So let's just finish this off and see what they got to say. Yeah. It's something just dawned on me in watching this video. A dragon to show it's about if you're going to make a statement, back it up. The raping mm -hmm. thing was wrong. That, yeah. Like, I just what didn't want to go back. Which you, part was, was you were basically saying, like, a woman should just say no right then and there and leave. Not yeah, all girls can do that, though. Okay, but that's what they should do. That doesn't that's mean what it's... they should do, but not all girls are able Whose to. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Yeah. I'm guessing I'm us honest. women, right? Whose fault is that? Maybe it's a dude who tried to get her massively drunk. Maybe it's the guy who yeah. invited her over for a one-on-one -on -one and then ambushed her with seven other niggas. Seriously. Maybe... It's the dude who's been looking for a woman who's emotionally and mentally vulnerable and then manipulating her and coercing her and gaslighting her and beating her into submission. You know what I mean? Like agency Jeez. isn't always on the other person. You can't render someone so fucking dependent on you that you fuck them up. Or like we say all the time, men and women are different. Women are built physically less strong. To think they can always assert their boundaries in every circumstances when you just literally had a on your podcast who you did not push back on for any of the shit that he did i don't know somebody just speaking a little bit funny you want to get loud and proud with these women tell them it's their fault and this that but when you had a rapist on your fucking podcast a self-admitted proud one you had no smoke ain't you the one who says oh we should get normalized telling people when they say dumb shit like we got to go back to telling people they're stupid we need to go back to bullying people letting them know no, that's not really how the world works. You sound mm -hmm. dumb. Change your my, way of thinking. But we don't bully people no more and tell them they're dumb. You need to go back to doing that. Where is that energy for him? You didn't say nothing. What, this man came on and <clears throat> said he did one of the most despicable things a human being could possibly do. Zero sure. pushback. You correct? were basically saying like a woman should just say no right then and there and leave. Not yeah, all girls sure. can do that though. Okay, but that's what they should do. That doesn't that's mean what it's... They should. Like I said before, if you want a feminine woman, usually the same qualities that it takes for them to push back and defend themselves and fight back, you're not going to find because they're gentle, they're soft, they're kind. They don't have the same confrontational things. So they might just freeze up. They might just cry. They might do anything. But sometimes, oftentimes, they're not going to fight back. And even if they do, like he says, like I say, like Auburn preachers say, many women are not equal in strength. So to say she should just say no and walk out, is ridiculous to me i don't know it just doesn't make any sense you can't defend a guy raping a damn it <laughs> you can't defend a guy raping a woman should do but not all girls are able to whose fault is that whose fault is that yeah i'm guessing I'm us honest. women right i'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's our you're saying responsibility, but like we said, these men are two faced. They are going to put on a front. Who picked the men? They well, put on a front. Who picked the men? No, they're lying about who they are. Who picked the men? It's like, bitch, you want everybody to have a lie detector? Sometimes you get. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Like, who picked the man is true in, in a lot of cases, but we talk about something like grape. Come on, man. Unless the guy got a long track record of doing this stuff to a woman, a woman warned her. You really can't blame her because psychos will hide themselves. Are you really crazy enough to do that to a woman? Like, come on, you will hide that shit very well so you could do it again. And they know what type of woman to target. The predators. So to say you pit the guy... And that led to her being, you know, graped. That's crazy. That's completely different than saying a girl, a girl going down a dark alley at 2 a.m. in a short skirt shouldn't do that. That in and of itself takes some accountability, and I agree with that. But saying a girl being tricked and lied to on a date or going over to a guy's house is her fault and not fighting off seven niggas or fighting off one strong dude is her fault. It just doesn't make sense duped by somebody no, somebody you think sometimes you think you're going on a one-on-one -on -one date you show up and it's seven other niggas they're never gonna say they're never gonna say nothing about that no no it's like every part of the discourse and what you said earlier was really facts about this being the other side of feminism the way same way like feminists will just be blind i'll yeah. believe all, no, women. all women this is all, like it's always women's it's fault right. i'm gonna just i'm gonna just leave um i don't know i don't feel comfortable when it comes down to the whole conversation and where you guys stand on that. All right, bye. All right. All right, bye. Just leave. Just leave. Two more minutes. How you feel versus what's real are two different things. All right, later, bye. We've debunked culture. 
Okay, well, first, I don't watch a lot of Fresh and Fit stuff, so I can't, I don't have a lot of <laughs> sample size to pull this from. But this is one of the times I have no, I have no problem with the woman walking off. Because if you're literally going to say it's a woman's fault for being graped and not fighting off multiple men or one super strong, well, not a super strong one, average guy who was stronger than her. Come on, man. I think in that situation, you can't help but put all the accountability on the guy. Especially when in a situation like dating or he draw dirt or so, some stuff like that. Like, come on, man. If a guy goes on a date with a woman and he lays her drink and you saying it's a woman's fault for getting her drink lace. That's just insane because I'm not blaming the men who get their drink laced by Cardi B when she was younger and, and got robbed by her. That's ridiculous. You thought you were just going to get a dance. She thought she was just going to have a night out, maybe consent to sex later on. But instead of doing that, you drug them and take what you want anyway. <laughs> it's insane. You can't be two faced like that. Culture is a myth. Culture is a myth. You, you literally had a grapist on and you didn't say a fucking word to him. I don't know. I'm going to call it grape culture. I don't like that term either. But it do seem like you protecting your own. Just say it. When they talk about how these men protect each other, that sound like you. Because when he came on and said he did that shit, where was your pushback? You ex-law enforcement, but you sitting here cozying up with grapists. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. I keep forgetting about that shit. Yeah, he's a whole <laughs> fed yeah. sitting here beside a grapist nah. proudly. And well, this man crazy. runs... The, That's crazy. The, the, the Charleston white dude runs a program for the youth? Yeah. Crazy, bro. Shit is wild out here. It really <laughs> is some of the worst people on the planet leading young men. But hey, anyways, anything else? <laughs> I told you. I, I listen. I played a, two seconds of the clip, and I'm like, I need to watch this with preach. I didn't know what was going to be, but this shit is. I didn't know what this shit going to be. Son of a whole ass. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. So that's the end of the video. I'll give my final thoughts. Once again, like if what they're saying is true, I really can't defend Fresh and Fit for doing that because the video, these clips, like the one that's showing on screen right now has this guy present tense talking saying that he believes this thing about abusing women and some women deserve their vaginas getting snatched or getting grabbed or taken. You know what he, you know what he means. And I don't know how you could spin it to be not messed up. Imagine if it was your sister, your mother, your aunt, your daughter, your future daughters, the future woman that you care about, your girlfriend, your wife. It's just insane to me. That's not something you can just defend. And this whole idea that women can just fight off men, where at the same time we know that men are stronger than women, you can't have that paradox. It's a fucked up paradox, if you ask me. Because at one time you want to live with reality, but at the same time you want to twist it, so you can do something as twisted as graping a woman and not taking accountability. Come on, man. I talk shit all the time about leftists and people who want to twist gender and all this nonsense. But I'm not gonna let people try to twist the reality too to let men get away with nonsense we shouldn't get away with. Forcing yourself on a woman and taking a choice away from her? This is insane. I don't support that. So unless Auburn Priest took this ridiculously out of context, I don't see how this could be defended. It's your boy Logos, and I'll see y'all next time.